Summer vacations are anything but normal this year, right? But with people leery of shared spaces and crowds, running a private vacation home may be more popular than ever. But is that even safe these days? Consumer Reports reveals the important precautions you need to take to keep your family safe. It's today's Don't Waste Your Money. Sensing her family badly needed a little R&R, Nancy Vargas went on Airbnb and rented a home in Orlando, Florida. A big reason why we went with an Airbnb home versus staying at a hotel was that it was just going to be us in this immediate area and we felt that we were protecting ourselves um, during this time. If you're planning on renting a vacation home this summer, here are some steps you should take to minimize your risk of contracting or spreading the coronavirus. If you're traveling from a place with a high rate of COVID-19, you should quarantine yourself for at least two weeks before you go or after you arrive. You should check the local rules about whether you'll be required to quarantine when you arrive. You can monitor the coronavirus situation at your destination by checking the state's health department website. It's also a good idea to check the refund policy on your booking, particularly regarding the terms if there is a COVID-19 outbreak in the area or new travel restrictions are put in place. Ideally, the property should already be disinfected prior to arrival, but to be safe, you could also do a thorough wipe down yourself, making sure to clean high touch surfaces like counters, faucets, doorknobs, and refrigerator handles. If you want to be extra cautious, you could re-clean all the dishes. And since a normal wash and dry cycle is generally enough to get rid of the coronavirus, clean sheets and towels provided in the rental should be safe to use. It's important you don't travel if you are already sick, but if you or someone in your party develops COVID-19 symptoms during your stay, take the proper precautions. If someone in the house has a fever or respiratory symptoms, they should be kept isolated in a separate room. You can call your doctor for advice and notify the local health department as well as the host. And even though they've had to keep to themselves well away and will quarantine for two weeks when they return home, Vargas says it was worth it. For us, I wouldn't change a day. And when you return home, Consumer Reports says that you should leave a review about your experience, particularly regarding cleanliness, to help future guests make informed decisions about renting that property.